KP fans, this is the film Daily Dose from April 7th with me, Christina. And me, Yana. Coming up today, I'll swing in for a look at the newest Spider-Man adventure. I sleep on my Zero suit to check out the new gameplay trailer for Metroid Other M. And there's some more game-to-movie adaptations on the way. Um, hooray? Activision has just released the first details of their new Spider-Man game, Shattered Dimensions. In this game, the Tablet of Order and Chaos gets stolen, broken into four pieces, and it's up to Spider-Man to track them down. Thing is, the pieces are in four different dimensions, so they'll take some finding. Each dimension will have its own visual style. One will feature Spidey in the blue and red muscle suit we all know, and will see you swinging around buildings and shooting gooey webs everywhere. The second is based on the obscure Spider-Man noir series, and from the looks of this trailer, will be based on stealth and have more of a shadowy feel. Let's take a closer look. Somehow I know. I'm not the only one. Other two dimensions will be revealed soon, so keep it locked onto Pimp for deets as they emerge. Spider-Man Shadow Dimensions is expected on PS3, Xbox 360 and Wii in September. Okay, so I lied about the Zero Suit. It's been a long time coming, but new gameplay footage for Metroid Other M is finally here. Other M will feature a mixture of 3D and 2D platforming and make full use of the Wii mode. As you see, you can flip the Wii mode from horizontal to point it straight at the screen and your view will change into a first-person mode, allowing you to target enemies and other objects. Let's check it out. Metroid Other M is, of course, a Wii exclusive and it's expected later this year. Hot on the heels of news about the Kane and Lynch and Spy Hunter movies, deets of a couple more have just surfaced. First, there's a trailer for yet another Resident Evil movie, Afterlife. Mia Jovovich is back, but the biggest news is that this flick has been filmed using the 3D technology created by James Cameron. I think it's fair to say that it'll be used very differently to the understated way of Avatar. Expect swords, bullets and loads of monsters jumping out of the screen at you. And it looks like we're in for a movie based on the Red Faction series, with THQ's Vice President saying movie game ties in are part of their new strategy. What's more, he's promised that it'll be like nothing you've seen before. What? Like a game to movie adaptation that doesn't suck? And that's your Beam Daily Dose for April 7th. Don't forget, we're still on the lookout for games reviewers and article writers for our website. So, if you've written something, send it to editorial at pimp.tv. Who knows, your stuff could be being read by thousands of pimp fans before you know it. Get writing and we'll catch you tomorrow.